Hi, welcome to San Jose by the Numbers. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the concerns that San Jose firefighters have in regards to the reduction in staffing in our fire apparatus from four person down to three person. In the past, I've talked to you briefly about the concerns that we have in staffing and our fire resources being very limited, our concern with our inability to adequately respond in a timely manner, and also the impact that Measure B has had on recruitment and retention. The purpose of this uh, uh, video is to address call volume and how San Jose Fire compares with other jurisdictions in the county. Before I dig right into it, into our presentation, a little bit about myself. I am a San Jose firefighter and have been serving the city of San Jose for the last uh, 26 years. Um, I feel very lucky to be a firefighter. It has been uh, a lifelong dream of mine to work uh, in the community where I have grown up. I've had the opportunity to serve the Alam Rock uh, neighborhood uh, for the last, uh, for about 16 years. In the last uh, seven years, I am working at the Market Street station down at uh, uh, Station 1. In regards to the four-person four staffing, we're the only department in the county that uh, s works with uh, four-person on our fire apparatus. The rest of the county works with three. The, um, some recent developments in the, in the city, um, some council members have addressed and their concern that we're not uh, meeting the standard in staffing, that they wish to reduce our staffing from four to three. So the purpose of the video is to provide some clarity uh, and some um, how San Jose firefighters compare in call volume with other jurisdictions in the county. In the past videos, I've talked briefly about the population that San Jose Fire serves. We serve a population just over a million people, and you can see on the screen that there are uh, nine other jurisdictions that also provide fire protection. The second largest, which is, follows us, is Santa Clara County. They're, they serve a population about one-fifth of the city that we, of the population that we serve. And then other populations serves almost the first two area of some stations. Recently, I talked about the Willow Glen Station serving about 71 or 75,000 people. And we're doing that with four people. The average other concern that we have is the average miles per station. We're pretty much... Uh, um, farther distance apart uh, with our stations as compared to other jurisdictions. Before we dig down and identify the call volume that San Jose has compared to other jurisdictions, we need to provide some definitions. There's two definitions I'd like to uh, talk to you about is, number one is incidents versus responses. An incident it requires uh, the response of more than one unit. For example, a five alarm fire is one incident, so it provides one incident number. A response is, uh, is always a single unit call. So uh, when we do a change of shift in the morning, we ask the off going shift, how was your day? How was your shift? And if they respond, they were busy. They had 12 or 15 uh, responses that day. That meant that they went out the door 12 to 15 times that day. So that's the difference between an incident, which may be a five alarm fire is one incident, and responses is the number of, of calls that the units have on an individual basis. On this chart here, you can see how San Jose Fire compares. So we have San Jose, for example, on this list that you see, you have station number two. They run about 48, just under 4,900 calls. They have two companies. They have an engine and a truck, and they staff that with eight people. Station 26 runs... Um, about 45, 4,400 calls, and they do that with six people. There's an engine and a squad. Same thing with Station 4, just over 4,000 uh, incidents, and they do that with six people. Uh, we don't think we have uh, a significant num uh, number of personnel that we can cut. I see. So we, we think that when we compare with the rest of the county, we tend to be pretty busy in incidents and responses. Let's take a look at how we compare. There's two jurisdictions I like to uh, compare with is the city of Mountain View. The city of Mountain View um, has five engines, one truck, 
one rescue squad, and one hazmat team. They have a total daily staffing of 21 people. And they, they run just over 5,000 incidents. If you compare what Mountain View does with 21 people to comparison to Station 2, basically Station 2 runs maybe a call short a day compared to Mountain View. About 300 calls more a year Mountain View runs. And they do that with um, five engines, one truck, one rescue, and one hazmat team. About six companies, seven or eight companies, including the hazmat team. A total staffing of 21, and we do this with eight people. That is one of the reasons that we find it very difficult that the council members uh, running for mayor are specifically targeting San Jose and saying that we can do more with less. The reality is that if we had to run the same number of calls, which is uh, just 4,800 calls or more with six people, we, w we would respond, we would do the best that we could do, um, but you really don't get the same service. The call volume in San Jose compared to not just other companies in other cities, but complete other departments, the city of Mountain View, there's absolutely no comparison. We've already cut, for example, at Station 2, we had 10 firefighters working there and now we're down to eight, and the next mayor wants to cut us down to six. And I don't think that is fair. I don't think that is right. As a matter of fact, we are concerned for the safety of firefighters, and we're concerned for, um, for the, uh, the, the ability of firefighters to adequately provide a service. The other city that um, I identified here to compare with is the city of Santa Clara. The city of Santa Clara compares by, they run um, just over 2,700 incidents a year with a staffing of 32. And you can look at, for example, Station 2, Station 26, uh, who runs 4,400 calls. Station 4 runs 4,000, almost twice as many calls as the city of Santa Clara, and they're doing that with six personnel. I don't think it would be fair and it would be okay to expect the same level of service if we were to reduce our firefighting personnel from six and that would be down to five or less than five by reducing one person in our fire apparatus in our companies. The bottom line is what we're trying to say is that we have a significant larger call volume in the city of San Jose. We have already reduced staffing. Our largest staffing has been just over 200 firefighters, 205 firefighters per day. Today we have between 168 to 172 depending on brownouts or companies not being staffed and being, having to reduce our company staffing from four to three would dramatically impact our ability to adequately respond and carry out the mission and, and carry out the vision that has been set forward for the fire department. In conclusion, we feel that we have a significantly different call volume in the city of San Jose serving just over one million people in the city. It is important for firefighter safety and for the ability of firefighters to provide the adequate service uh, to the citizens of San Jose to have the four person staffed on every single company. I hope this provides some clarity uh, in regards to the proposed reduction in staffing to the, uh, to the fire companies in the city of San Jose. If you have any questions, I uh, uh, urge you to contact any San Jose firefighter. They have a lot of the information. Also, come back and visit SanJoseByTheNumbers.com. Thank you for watching. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for news and updates, and find us on the web, sanitabythenumbers.com, where you'll find all of our community presentations.